in Spanish. Two times. Dos Benito. Put on a D-boy fit, white fitted, see him some fezzo. Quick to drop some racks, ain't nothing to get your fake blown. The bro spin it for me, pay for it, lawyer, now he can't go. Neighborhood chop, start like a hero with a cape on. The nigga got it wrong. I eat, brother. The nigga, the fool really show you where to get that. You got catfish, man. That's these. Two weeks? He said these niggas, they be. They got a G for it. Man, no, G went A and G mode on that verse. I ain't gonna lie. Black people do eat cold snow. You know what I mean? Black people do eat this shit. Don't so let nobody lie to you. Slaps, man. That's a little bitch. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. What is that? See that just bought up dough that they used to throw at the ground and keep the uh, Keep them dogs. Keep them dogs. Oh, they went. <laughs> get a slave. <laughs> that's get a slave. Food, get a slave. To start with the music scene, as far as from what I've seen before I even started making music, it's a lot of similar things that still go on as far as just, I would say like the basic steps that like new artists will take and things like that, like far as doing shows at like the crowd, b sides and smaller venues like that, which is perfectly fine and everything. But I also feel like the music scene is in like a transition period where it's like, it's not really a specific sound. We could have had a few like artists that's, you know, making some waves in certain entities of the music industry. And you would never know they from Cleveland just but based off the music they make. I think that's a good thing because it's like giving the people that want to make music another opportunity to like just try to do whatever you need to do. Because in a lot of other cities, obviously they got sound. So like, obviously you got to make the best sound of the West Coast or like you got to be the hardest puncher in Detroit or you know what I'm saying? You got to make the best vibe and song in Atlanta. Like, you know, how, how all the other rappers do and stuff like that. With that being said, us being like having the little Midwest to the West Coast type of vibe, it gives us our own lane, our own own swagger to just whatever we doing. So it kind of, it's a no pressure type situation for us, for real, for real. So like, it just make a lot of stuff easier for us. But that's what I would just say. The scene is it's open right now. Music scene in Cleveland, we've been rapping about two years and there's some of the stuff we've been around from shows and different producers and stuff that we work with, like it's just it's raw. Like it's not like cause we don't I mean it's a couple people that have made it, you know, like you mentioned like Doughboy and Kid Cuddy and Bone Thugs, but like everybody can't try to make the same stuff they do. Like their stuff is like like really unique. So you can't even try to say one of their sounds is the signature sound of Cleveland because that just it it literally just don't work like that. And like I feel like everybody that I came in contact with or come across for the most part, you know, got their own different type of different type of flow. Like it's people that do stuff together obviously in the same rap crews and whatnot that throw shows together consistently and stuff like that. But I don't know it's just real real raw and untapped for real. So it's a lot it's a lot to tap into for real. Have the opportunity. Uh what was y'all favorite song from Cleveland artists growing up? So keep crazy, but uh, it was low key throw by Corey Babes. Throw by Corey Babes. Yeah. That was definitely one of them ones. I definitely listened to a lot of Fat Out. Came Down definitely was a, a heater. Then listened to some Royalty Camp too. But that's just because I like had a couple older siblings that was really putting me on because I was too young to be listening to that. But nonetheless, I am hip and definitely Corey Babes. He that he definitely had a few songs that I'll probably play to this day. I ain't gonna lie. Like we listened to uh, the as a young boy listened to the Royalty Camps and the Fat Out and Chip the River and stuff, but. I won't listen to listening to that too much, so I ain't gonna lie that that indicted that little crane indicted might be hey. that or that or that Kyrie Irving. You not hey, hey, you, you ain't wrong. You not wrong from going that route too hey, either though. That's, I ain't gonna lie. That's 
when he said please, I look, he thought back a little farther than that. Yeah. But, uh, shit. but uh, nah, I Craig definitely got one for sure. I say maybe one. two, like like you said, one, maybe two. One, one of them ones for real, for real. Shout out to all the Cleveland artists that came before us, man. That notorious thugs looking crazy too though, so you wanna go that far and <laughs> take it that route, that bone thugs. Notorious thugs might be your favorite one, but nah, I was in diapers, I ain't playing that. <laughs> Game, talk your shit, nigga. <laughs> Grab your gat, call your click. <laughs> okay. We the ones that got it poppin', ain't no stopping. Have emotion and we locked in. About to get rich off rap, ain't no talking in. Nigga, <laughs> we the ones that get it poppin', ain't no stopping. Stay emotion and we locked in. About to get rich off rap, no more clocking in. No squad on the bubble, he ain't seen talking in. Honestly, what's next really will be just it's a lot more work to be put in, but as far as to the outside with the people will probably see just more videos, a lot more content. We definitely plan on hosting our own show this summer too, coming along with another project. So basically just another another fun summer activities with us, you know, from us, by us. And that's basically what's gonna be next. What's next is more. That's that's all simple as that. Like same team team. I mean it's just gonna be more. And you gotta go get it. You gotta go rock with it here. You gonna just be left out, but I mean that's that that's up to y'all. But there's more. It's up. We really we find it we find it in our way. I feel like people starting to notice more and more everywhere we go, different things that we do, people starting to latch on, so now it's just time to give you more. Simple as that. Folks. <laughs> Hell my goodness, chill. You guys have been in the been make music for uh about two years now. What do you think the biggest struggle that artists in Cleveland have? Or like, what is something that you must have with change or the problem that you guys have seen just within the past two years within the Cleveland music scene? Uh, well, I'll speak firstly for us. It's just been just the amount of work we probably get a chance to put in for our studio time, stuff like that. Because obviously, we're not rapping full 24-7, you know what I'm saying? So we still do a lot of other stuff. So I would say just like working on your craft, having that availability to just really be in the studio a lot. I think that's probably been like something to like, you know, kind of just overcome. But as far as other things, like we've been doing pretty well, like far as it goes to shows and just, you know, connecting and stuff like that. Like that's not really been a problem for us because before we even started rapping, I mean, we probably knew most of the people that still do rap or that's rapping now. And we, you know, we know a lot of other people that just do a whole bunch of other things in the music or whatever it may be. So as far as like that, that wasn't really hard to do. I think for us, it was just more of a, a music based thing, like as far as just recording and, you know, getting more music made and done and stuff like that. That's probably just been the biggest struggle. I would say the biggest struggle is probably like um, people, I don't say people clicky, but I mean, people clicky everywhere. Like people only gonna work with who they work with, but you can't be, what I've learned is that you gotta speak. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, ask, or you can't just try to feel like, I mean, obviously you can do what you can with your own people, but if you see a, somebody that you never recorded with in the studio, like, that don't mean you can't, you know what I'm saying, go try it out or see. I just feel like people kind of scared, to, we not scared to do that. That's, I don't think that's the problem part at all, but as far as cleaning as a whole, just struggling, like, you just gotta be open, I would say. For real, and then that would that would help everybody. Like I said, I ain't to our own horn, but I mean, for I could be doing pretty, pretty decent. For real. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. 
is, but at the same time, it's like, it's really like, like I said, it's a lot of opportunity to really do more than whatever is going on to make the scene of music here bigger than it could be. But it's only gonna take time, you know? And it's like, shit, if we can be the first ones to kind of break through that, shit, this will be up from there. And people people see the type of, type of people we are and type of business we do and, and make people inclined to, to work with us if we reach out and say something, so. Uncle that was in that bitch the other day? I'm catching from right here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it went in though, we could look he edited that. <laughs> it looked like it, it, it looked like it went in though. Now what happened we ain't swiped down? I ain't gonna lie, I had to I had to do what happened bro. The sand is everywhere, bro. Honey berry slap toe, valley don't touch it. Worry about a bit, asking questions, I don't know nothing. Double R, back to back, call that shit ghost hunting. Hit a fresh off work, nigga ready to smoke something. Ducking bullets, feel like gym class, got him toe touching. Nigga fresh off work, nigga ready to smoke something. Ducking bullets, feel like gym class, got him toe touching. Stick around long enough and I'ma turn you up. Keep it simply with the hand, I need another cup. Team team, brought the vibes, man, you know what's up. She said I love the way you kick it, y'all be turning up. Came in with her friends, now she wanna yeah, leave with us. Yeah. Told her I ain't tripping, we got room up in the truck. So when you turn on some heme team, only mood that ain't gonna put you in is a mood, you know what I'm saying? Do something a little crazy. We ain't going, we ain't, we ain't none of that. Like, it's real, ain't no pain. No, ain't no, pain. no, ain't, no pain, ain't no pain, ain't no, no sadness in our music. You know, like, obviously everybody go through that shit, but as far as when you turn on our music, you gonna either turn up, you gonna wanna kick it, you gonna wanna just crank it up while you riding around, smoking, drinking, kicking with your people. Cause that's what we, that's what we rap on, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying, wanna be like him, no pun intended. And don't be riding there and drinking. Yeah, don't be drinking, don't get down there. Don't drink and drive though. But nah, for me, I think our music give energy. Uh, and sometimes even, not even necessarily high energy, but like a lot of our songs are gonna give you some energy. You are gonna be at a vibe, so it always put you in a good in a good space. Especially if you're in the car, in the house, maybe you know what I'm saying. Even on the grill or something. Just when you know you're doing some some regular day stuff, but it could just add to that. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little extra step. Play that gold member. It'll get you right for sure. Yeah, but um, some of our songs. I, what I will say is none of our songs. But you're not gonna hear the same song twice. That's, that's probably something I would say that you probably won't come across. Maybe so with similar beats, but you're never really gonna get the same song twice from us. So and you're not hoarding no music. You're dropping more than more than ever. So anything we got, you got. For real. First thing is score two. Two touch. You gotta get that stop. That means one two. It ain't. Yeah, it can be twos if you want. I'll let you shoot. Talk to him. This nigga up out of here, bro. I don't even be doing this hoop and shit for real, but I had to do it for the cats. <laughs> 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 
Talking to you. Hey man, it was a must win game. We came up a little bit short, but you always know. Shit, I'm gonna still be all right. What does music mean to you? For me, it just gave me, it gave me like a, not like a second chance or nothing like that. But far as like relating to like the sports and stuff like that, it just gave me another, another space for competition creativity and it kind of like it gave me some more like determination just to have a, like something that you just want to get better at because obviously starting from where we just started we literally like you know basically in a sense woke up and just started making music so like obviously i knew i had a lot to learn regardless but like i was gonna start somewhere because you got to do that and it just kind of it just gave me just some extra motivation and determination just with life in general not even just thinking about like music taking me anywhere else but i'm gonna keep doing music regardless whether it go any farther than this or if it just stop here a too much on her though, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking shit. But um, I'm still make music. I mean, <laughs> it's just gonna be, it's gonna be for me then. Yeah, right, yeah, but, um, music, to me, it's a good way of expression. I mean, I'm a, I'm an av advocate for expressing yourself. You know what I'm saying, however you need to through whatever medium, that's social media or whatever art platform you use to express yourself. That's how I feel you should. So music definitely give me that extra, extra room or space to ex express myself or you know. Just try, you know, try something out. See, little key helped add to like our social space for real. That's what it really did. Mm -hmm. I too, cause like we was already like you know known enough in the sense of just what we was doing regularly. But that music added that extra, like an extra level. Sometimes they just treat me like a rapper now, and that shit really. So <laughs> I fuck with it. You feel me? I finally hit something, but damn, it don't matter no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, hey, whenever the music starts, y'all can just get at me. Whenever nah, it starts. Steph Curry, this bitch too, you feel me? No, I ain't, that ain't going in. <laughs> oh, my, my niggas punching clocks, keep punching till I run it up. Can't get handled up, sweep them up, they can't get it up. Rap, no more clocking in. Your squad on the bubble, he ain't team top 10. Squad on the bubble, he ain't team top 10. Hey, hey, hey. Hit hey, me 500 at this next shot. I got 500 to go in. Hey, Damn, nigga. Damn, boy, you broke, boy. All right, bet. Bet it back. Two hooks. Bet it back. Two, you know what I'm saying? Run it back. Double the nine. You broke, boy. You broke. Yeah, you broke, boy. You broke. See, when I sign my first deal, I might have to pay y'all then. I don't do that. I owe y'all the rack. I ain't gonna lie to you. When I sign my first deal, I'll pay y'all then. I right, bet. And actually, you know what? Bet it back on me. Let me see that. Bet it back on me. Oh, really? uh, bet it back on me. Bet it back on me. We good. We good. We good. It doesn't matter. Oh, that, that's that's that with that drop, nigga. That's they, they don't even know about what just happened. That's but just a real smooth touch, you feel uh, I me? Mean? Yeah. That's just a winning cash for real. Hey. All right, man, let's get up out of here, y'all. Uh, and I bet that, too. Now y'all owe down. Because y'all told y'all next shot was going in, y'all bet it. I told y'all about that. Yeah, we up now. No, I'm talking shit, though. Love y'all. What message does Heen Team have to the world? If I want, go ahead and stream that, you feel me? Give me a couple spins daily, stuff like that. But the real message is just, I hope you're ready for when the time comes, for real, for that's the only message I really got. Cause we gonna be ready if we, you know, when it, when the time do come. So y'all just be ready too, man. Message he ain't gotta give, stay tapped in. Cause we gonna keep going up, we gonna keep getting better. I mean, appreciate y'all. Like, I don't know how, that's the, all the reason we do shit. Like, people around us keep us going. So, and thank you for even this far. Stay good with us. If you're new, thank you for tapping in. Or welcome. And you're welcome too. Okay, because you're welcome. No, I'll let you go first. I got hella shout out. You got hella. No, go ahead. You got now. You got like two. Go ahead. All right, bet. First off, you know what I'm saying? Shout out e and Team Foil. Shout out 3117 ENT. Shout out. Shit, I'm gonna shout out all our friends too. No cap, because they be around even though a lot of them not in the music biz or some joke. Wavy, you know what I'm saying? Let's see who else I don't want to leave out, nobody. Let me take it. Everybody that's here, you know what I'm saying? Block, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Tom. Kicks, shout out, shout out Darren for sure. The real shooter. Shout out Bolo, you know what I'm saying? You, another one that one shooter. Another one that one shooter. 
Um, shout out to my daughter, Raheem. I love you. Shout out to my, my fam, my mama. I know you're going to watch this. Shout out Pops. Uh, shout out to everybody. Shit, I really just got one shout out, though. Awesome. Just shout out to everybody that rock with me, because if you rock with me, I'm going to rock with you. And it's all love, so bet. Captain Morgan Heen. Hey, don't ever buy this shit though. Don't ever buy this. Don't ever buy the everybody Bombay though. I'm gonna be cool on that. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, uh, hell no. I'm like I'm like 0-5 with Bombay. Yeah, I'm like 100 and 0, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Bombay boys for real, there's no, there's no 3117 and shit. That's hard to be in. It's a good bed right here. Can't go wrong with this. Never, never, never. But that nigga, uh, that nigga, uh, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that 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 we ain't here, but we here with you. Damn, type shit. I never get no wheels. I gotta go to all the beaches. I didn't answer them. I didn't pay your rent today. I didn't pay your rent today. Hold on. Get a button here. That's bro. me personally. I'm just saying. I'll be somebody, bro. If you can get grown ass men to play hard, they was gonna do that to, anyway. No, they wouldn't. What the fuck the Cavs do? They got the nigga that played the, the hardest in the world on their team still with so them right now. So when we played the Knicks, niggas was playing hard. No. Well, we no. That's what I'm telling you, and that's one of the main reasons why we lost. We was losing, bro. Literally, if we could have, I know exactly why we was losing. Niggas was acting, acting like bitches. Exactly. And that come down to, to the coach and what you instill in your players, I mean, Jay, but do you really think JD just run out like a bitch? I'm, JB, I, I, I'm asking you. If I'm we not, gonna keep it a hundred, JB nothing. Bickerstaff may be a bitch. As long as you said that, I'm cool. I was just saying. Like I'm not saying he like a bad person, anything like that, but he could be a bitch. Could, like I'm not saying he can't be. I'm asking you. That's what I'm the respect I saw him saying. getting from the refs was shit. He might be a bitch. Them niggas didn't give a fuck. The, way they, the way they played us, somebody was a bitch on our team. The whole team. You no, know I'm just saying, like, no, not the whole team, but somebody in our organization I'll, put I'll, a spirit. I could try, I could try. Too many little niggas, he ain't like a giant 25 on me, made it look easy like Barry played for the Giants Baby in my DM, seen the message, ain't replying If you want a ring, little baby, you can play signage Pop shove it to a kid clip cause I stay grinding Shit was made for him, it ain't in stores, no you can't find it Trapping wasn't for me, I kept fucking off my profit You afraid of money like you cut it out your diet The whole team eat, it's money table when we dine in We not BMF, but we family till we boxed in We really number one, we kept it humble with that top 10 we really number one, we kept it humble with that top 
Steelers fitted on, feel like Coach Tom. Team like the Steelers, you know we riding.